dear seventh semester triple e stream students i welcome you all into my channel again hope you are all doing well so this is the right time to provide passing package for you students so today i am with your first subject that is high voltage and power system protection it is subject code is 21 ee 71 so let me discuss over here the passing package for you students i have taken uh, all the modules into considerations lot of theoretical portions are there as well as numerical portion but i can see 70 30 is the game over here that is 70 percent is uh, theoretical portions and rest of 30 percent is numerical part and i will discuss later on what you have to refer what papers you have to refer uh, for uh, the reference for numericals so first of all let us discuss over here the theoretical portion of module first uh, here we have uh, the eight important questions like uh, what are the advantages and limitations of high voltage systems uh, discuss the various applications of high voltage engineering and uh, this is the super important question most of the times VT has asked this that is define Townsend's first and second ionization mechanism coefficient derive an expression for the current in the ear gap considering Townsend secondary ionization coefficient next we have here explain the following breakdown mechanism in solid that is electrochemical breakdown and thermal breakdown and next we have what is the stream of theory of breakdown in gases discuss its significance and again super important question derive Paschen's law how do you account minimum voltage for breakdown under a given uh, p cross d condition and explain its importance in high voltage engineering and uh, next we have here what are the corona discharges explain their occurrence and effects and explain the conduction mechanism in liquid dielectrics describe the breakdown process in liquid dielectrics next uh, last question from module first is here that is explain the role of impurities in the breakdown of uh, solid dielectrics and as far as numericals are concerned so there may be the chances of numericals you have to refer 18 ee 56 paper if you have not the 18 ee 56 paper with you so let me know in the comment section so that i will provide the link over there okay so that i will also upload these papers on my instagram account now coming to the model second uh, we have theoretical portions here lot of theories here so explain the cascade connection of transformer for producing very high ac voltage describe the principle of generation of high alternating current voltages discuss the construction and working of a cock croft walton voltage multiplier circuit right next we have what is an impulse voltage explain the need for impulse voltage generation in high voltage testing and describe the basic principle of generation of impulse voltages with using max generators and sixth question we are having with explain the principle of operation of a resonant transformer and what are the methods of measuring impulse voltages discuss their advantage and limitations and what is the importance of peak voltage measurement in high voltage engineering and explain with suitable examples explain the method of uh, measuring capacitance and uh, tan delta using shearing bridge discuss the method of discharge detection using straight detector method and what is partial discharge discuss its causes and effects on electrical apparatus and and again if you have to try for the numericals same paper you should refer that is 18 e 56 so now coming to the model third so it is only the theoretical part you have to refer that is with a neat diagram explain zones of protection in a power system list the merits and demerits of static release explain various methods of backup protection this is super important question discuss the essential qualities of a protective relay which between earth fault relay and an overcurrent relay and briefly give a comparison between electromechanical and numerical relays explain the operating principle of a static relay with a suitable diagram and sixth question we are having with define current setting and time setting how are they chosen for over control over current release what is earth fault protection how does it differ from phase fault protection discuss a combined earth and phase fault protective scheme with a suitable diagram and last question we are having with uh, with a neat sketch explain the construction and working principle of a reverse power or directional relay so these are all questions from the module third so it is totally theoretical so you can refer also 18 e 72 paper for your reference so if you are looking for other portions so you can refer 18 e 72 now uh, coming to the model 4 we have here explain the working principle of an impedance relay with a suitable diagram also obtain its torque equation with a neat sketch explain the principle operation of maho relay and explain the working principle and characteristics of a reactance relay right and explain a three-step distance protection of transmission line and with a neat sketch explain the working of frame leakage protection 
used for bus zone protection and the fifth question we are having uh, with neat diagram explain construction and operation of batch holes relay what are pilot relaying schemes explain their significance in power system protection and last two questions from uh, module fourth are here that is discuss the working principle of wire pilot protection what is carrier current protection explain its operation and applications compare percentage differential relays and balanced vol voltage differential protection so these are all about uh, module fourth as far as numericals are concerned from the module 4 if you are convenient then refer 18 e 72 for the same next coming to the module fifth last module we have here the questions super important questions with the help of a systematic diagram explain the working of short circuit test plant with a neat sketch explain the construction and working of air breaker circuit breaker and with a neat sketch explain the construction and working of non puffer type sf6 circuit breaker and explain the terms risk striking voltage recovery voltage and and uh, triple rv derive expression for risk striking voltage and triple rv in terms of system voltage uh, inductance and capacitance what are the different types of air blast circuit breaker discuss their operating principle and area of application and with the neat sketch explain the direct testing of circuit breaker may be the important what is a clydonograph explain its principle and application in detecting over voltages and discuss the working of magnetic link used in over voltage protection what is insulation coordination discuss its importance in over voltage protection and describe the methods of achieving insulation coordination in power systems so also you can refer 18 e 72 for your reference for this particular model that is model fifth these are all super important questions from your first subject high voltage and power system protection you can refer these important questions to pass the subject and also score score in the upcoming examination so i wish you all the best for your examinations make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you